Hi there, welcome. In this video, you're going to learn how to onboard as a user on the Learn Square web app. Now, when a lender completely onboards on Learn Square, a web application is automatically generated. With this link, borrowers would be able to sign up and begin transaction with you on your web app. Now, most times, we understand lenders want to be their own first borrowers just to check the look and feel of the web app from the user's end. Now, let's get started. Here you can see the web app URL. You can see um, lsq.app as the domain name, which is because it is on the default plan. If you want to make it have your brand name as the domain name, that is fully configurable and can be done on the subscription plan. At the point when I'm done with my sign up, then I would be able to actually put in my login details. But right now, I would show you the sign up process by clicking on this link right here i would like to note that on the subscription plan you are able to make this brand you're able to make this brand worthy of your brand you can put in your logo you can put in your image right here you can change this caption to what you want so right now let's go ahead to sign up by clicking here So once this loads, once this page loads, you would see you'll be prompted to uh, fill in your phone number and a referral code. This referral code helps to show the users of your platform what that are actually helping you to drive attraction in the sense that for everyone that uses the referral code, it appears on that referee's profile that they've brought this number of persons to the platform. It can also help you run a referral scheme or something to just incentivize your users that are actually helping you drive traction. So let's get started with putting my number. So we'll go with um and right now I won't be using any referral code, so I'll go ahead to get started. So I'm just going to wait for the OTP that will be sent to me. Okay. The OTP has been sent to me, which I will be imputing now. I would like to know that sometimes for network reasons, this OTP, the OTP that I showed earlier, might not come immediately due to network reasons, but most times, for most occasions, we will get the OTP almost immediately. So right now, we'll be going ahead to create a password that would enable you to uh, have access to this platform. So you can decide to go with um, any password. You can follow this instruction right here. Password must contain a number, uppercase lowercase letter and a symbol so right now we'll just do a simple password okay which is perfect and the next thing now is to continue to continue the sign up process here you'll be prompted to uh fill in your bbn your bbn after which you would continue the BVN is to check for verification as this is extremely, extremely important. The next thing is to confirm the validity of your BVN by imputing the five digits of your mobile BVN number, the five digits of your mobile number on BVN rather. So that, and then you are to confirm your date of birth also that is linked to your BVN. This is as well a measure of verification, which you then click on continue. Then I would add an email address that can be used for all correspondence and for all um, notifications. And the next step right now is to take a selfie. The selfie check is to ensure that the image on the BBN registration is the same with what is taken here to ensure that identity is properly verified and 
and to make sure that this person right here is the same person that registered for the VBN. All right. So then I would smile. I'll smile for a selfie. This is perfect. Then I'll click on upload. The system then confirms it's a good picture by getting this awesome that is a good picture and now the next step is to continue to add um, your account details yes right here you have this and you will be prompted to fill in your bank name then click on verify account So this, uh, this would automatically generate the name that has been linked to your BVN and then to your bank account, which is why you can see your full, name, your full name right here after you must have added your bank account and the bank name. Then you go ahead to click on get started right here. Right. And the last stage currently now is to put in the pin that would allow you have access to all transactions on your system. So you have to go with one that you can easily remember. So we have, and voila, that is how you sign up. That is how you sign up on your web app. So you can use your details now to log in by clicking on go to login. So once you uh, put in your details, Once you put in your details with the password that you used while you were trying to sign up, which is what I'm trying to do right now, then you click on login. Right. And here you are in already. Here you can see your details, your name right here, your selfie that is in form of a selfie check and all other details on the web application uh your borrowers will be able to see the loan offers that you currently have for them and whatnot so um i hope this helped in showing you how to sign up as a user do not forget if you're stuck or you have more questions feel free to reach us in the meantime keep lending